I bring you 100 maggot layer runs. And boy oh boy was this painful, especially with Hammerden. Just look how long it takes me to clear this tiny corridor, and this is sped up by a lot. The silver lining was that the loot was really good. So let's see what I got. The first drop is extremely disappointing. Uh, missed death web there. The second drop is the first piece of the Volcathos set, Volcathos Sacred Charge. Then on 49, we get the second piece of the set. Run 14 brings us one of the better drops of this run, Arachnid Mesh. Very solid. We get a Reaper's Toll on run 19. Unfortunately, it is not ethereal. On run 43, we get a Talset weapon. Run 46, I get a Nightwing's Veil. It's a mid roll, but still a really nice drop. On run 57, we get a really bittersweet charm. A 3 max damage, 20 attack rating. It's just missing the life, but still, this is a very nice spell charm. On run 71, I get a 7% magic find small charm. And then on run 72, we get a pretty rare druid helm, um, and that is Spirit Keeper. On run 78, we get the best drop by far, a 11% fire resistance, 6% magic find small charm. This is perfect for my hammer. Day. Last but not least, on run 99, we get a gold room. I was hoping for at least one room this run, and I got it like two runs before we ended. Let's go. Here's a recap of the loot, and look at that, it's actually pretty good. Um, do I recommend farming the maggot layer? Well, yes actually. But please, for the love of god, don't do it with a hammered in. I, my, my hands hurt. My hands hurt, man. Let me know what 100 runs I should do next. I'm literally down for anything. Also, if you like my content, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.